Facebook family. Oh, it's Christy Saul coming at you live right after church. It's been a little while since I've come at you live after church. I want to thank Brian. He's been doing such a great job with his um, nightly post-parenting. Um, but, uh, you know, he encouraged me to continue doing my Sundays. So, um, it's an honor and a privilege to come at you guys live just talking to you a little bit about Christmas um, So today in church um, My church is so I love my church. I love my church. You know, it's a small group um, I think there might have been I don't know maybe 50 60 people Worshiping together today and we didn't have a big fancy service for um, Christmas honoring the birth of Christ, but we just shared, shared intimate personal stories about Christmas and what the birth of Christ means to us. I love you, Mimi. Hi. Um, and I was sitting there listening to the stories and the music, and it just made me think about Christmases of the past for me, my childhood Christmases. And, you know, there were always so, I mean, there were three kids, and gosh, whew, there were lots and lots and lots of presents. Um, my mom <laughs> I hope she watches this I love her dearly she is a precious precious person um, she's an adoptee um, I think maybe all that plays into her Christmas her Christmas spirit because she always wanted it to be something really special and I think she really enjoyed it and I think it made her really anxious all at the same time Hmm. So I was also thinking about other Christmases. I was thinking about one year at Christmas when I was working with families doing home-based work and I was also waiting tables because I didn't make enough money in social work. So I had my job still from college as a waitress and the people I was waiting tables with wanted to help a family. Um, so they all pitched in tip money and me and one of my co-workers went and bought Christmas gifts for a family and we took them over and delivered them while the kids were at school so that the parents could you know could give them um, I went back two weeks later and they never gave the they never gave the gifts um, they helped him because they needed the money and you know what that was okay because when you give gifts, you give without strings attached. Um, so I learned that. It was a beautiful thing to learn, actually. And who am I to say what somebody may need? I thought about other Christmases. Um, I thought about a conversation I had last year with um, Stephen. Um, Stephen Sampson, who's been a long-time member of our parenting inner circle. And he reminded me that, you know, Christmas is such a big time. You know, it happens every year, and yet somehow the stress comes the same every year. Every year it happens. Every year we get stressed out. But, you know, he was he reminded me that, especially when we're talking about adoption and foster care, we don't always, and even with our spouses, um, our friends, our family, we don't know what their Christmas histories might be. Um, you know, for some families, that they're beautiful, loving celebrations, and for other families, it's a chaotic frenzy. And you know, maybe it's somebody drinking too much, or maybe it's somebody ending up in jail because they stole money so that they could go buy Christmas presents. Or, you know, my my point just being, you don't know, you don't know what the history for your your loved ones might be, your spouses, your extended family, your children, your foster children, your adopted children. And so, you know, just, I want to encourage just a place in your heart for a deeper understanding to move past the gifts, to let Christmas be a time where we can just kind of reflect on what we appreciate in each other's lives and give, give with no strings attached. Um, let it be a time of peace and joy a time of celebration. Um, in church today, they did this, oh, they made this beautiful movie. We have a really cool young media team and they love to create movies and they wrote this script and there was a young man who played this distraught teenager and it was so beautiful how he, 
I mean, he just let it out. He, you know, you saw his frustration with not understanding the energy of love, God's love that's always just waiting there for us. How angry he was because his family hadn't always been present for him. And so it was just, oh, I, you know, he poured, he, you know, right there in our little, in our little studio, you know, he just poured it out. And the, young, the same young man came and gave his testimony today because that's what we did. That's what we did to celebrate Christmas in our church. And he brought up each person from our church who had poured into him. And he talked about how this person planted and this person planted and this person planted and this person planted. How all of these people had planted seeds and how all of these people had nurtured seeds and how God was the light that has helped him grow. And it was just, you know, it just really touched me. And we were encouraged to write a Christ must list. And when they first started talking about writing a Christ must list, I was like, what does that even mean? Christ must? What do you mean Christ doesn't must anything? <laughs> And then as we talked more and I listened, I learned that it was a list about what Christ must do in my life because I can't do it. What God must do for us, what we must invite and receive so that we can walk this walk on earth because just as, as humans, as fleshly beings, there's just no way that we can face the challenges that we face day in and day out without being connected to a greater loving source. And and so I think that's it. I think that's the greatest message that I had today was to think about the things that we cannot do without God. We can't do it, you know. We're just humans. There is no way that we can that we can inject the level of love and patience and kindness and nurturing that our babies need without love. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm all shaky. Um, I'm just, you know, it's just my emotion. So, Kristen, it's great to see you. Thanks for being with me today. Christy Ann, thank you for being with me today. And anybody else who's watching, much love to you guys. Happy holidays. Go easy. Love your loves. Praise God. Take a minute. Get quiet. When you start getting stressed, just let that be, let that be um, a signal to just take stop take a deep breath you know god's right there ready to help you ask him to quiet your heart ask him to guide your steps much love to you guys